Ule, good morning. I have mail. Ooh, what is that? We have mail. Let's see. Me, Llewellyn, Llewellyn, me, Llewellyn, the, they've spelt his name wrong, and me, and they've spelt my name wrong too. It's great. We have mail. I love when I get mail. I get so excited. Let's go get my glass. I get excited when I have mail. How sad is that? But none of them are bills. That's what makes me excited. When I get bills, then I'm unexcited. I don't... I don't like bills. Do any of you guys like bills? If bills come through the mail? There we go. Let's get my book. I'm getting a slowly look. I'm nearly halfway through. And believe it or not, my bookmark is postage stamps. I could really do it with a decent actual bookmark, but no. Oh. I have a bookmark of postage stamps. Because I'm awesome like that. Cats are being lazy today, look. Look at you. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yes, yes, you like that, don't you? Yes, you do. Yeah. Yep, I talk to my cat like their children. It's great. But I am feeling a bit better today. I've woke up. I've got over my bump in the road. And it is time to get on with life. It's time to... Which, actually, I watched the CTFXC's um, video. And it is true what Charles said that tomorrow is the past tomorrow tomorrow is the past yesterday oh my god I swear my brain is just frazzled this morning I'm just like on a I just so much energy I just want to get stuff done but as I was saying yeah um yesterday is the past tomorrow may never come so today we should live it right about those words I have a memory like a goldfish. But I was right about those words. But I, you know, it, there's a lot of sayings like that anyway. But I completely agree with him. You should totally live in today and not worry about anything. And just kick ass in every day. I'm feeling very positive today. I hope you're all feeling positive too. In whatever it is you're doing. School, college, work, whatever. But I'm feeling very positive so i'm positively gonna get things done today oh and by the way our freezer is now full we put all the stuff in our freezer last night look though it looks empty because there's not a lot of food in there because of course oh i can't do it there we go because of course we only had a little freezer which is all defrosted and empty we did find though that we still have our buttonholes from Martin and Kelly's wedding in our um, in our freezer because um, to keep them fresh you freeze them so that's still in the freezer and they've been married three years and I can't believe they're still in there but yeah but I'm just gonna go and sort out and I'm gonna have some breakfast because I'm a little bit hungry my belly's literally about to rumble so yeah I'm gonna go and have some crumpets well, I had my crumpets and I've literally just been reading for the past two, maybe two and a half hours. I've just been reading, but I've nearly finished it. I'm excited. I'm like halfway through, but most of it is appendices. It's not um thing. I've only got like got a few more chapters to go and then I'm finished finally. It's only taken me months to read. Absolute months because that book is what I started on the honeymoon. Which was, what are we, for the 11th month? The 7th month we went on our honeymoon. We went on honeymoon. Uh, nine. Like the past four months, I've been trying to read it and get it done. So, yeah. Nearly done. Nearly done. Yeah, my mail wasn't that interesting, to be honest. I wasn't very interested at all. I have my club card vouchers from Tesco's so that I can get 100 extra points on my club card. 
only the one letter was exciting because um, it was just a letter to confirm our trip to Bath Christmas market which I'm really looking forward to I really can't wait and we can have a bit of a drink because Luana's not going to be driving because it's a coach trip so it's exciting I can't wait to go really can't wait to go oh but I gotta have some dinner now because I'm a little bit hungry from reading and I don't understand why reading makes makes you so tired it's so weird how I feel so tired just from reading but I suppose your brain is constantly working like isn't it because it's gone like register the words and my brain is forever whenever I read a book my brain is forever imagining and imagining how it would be in your head sort of thing like I've watched the Lord of the Rings but, uh, films but that was so long ago I was like 13 12 13 when I was watching them and um I know that sounds really stupid but it was like nearly 10 years ago um so I can't really remember what the films were like if you know what I mean because I haven't got them on DVD I'm hoping I think I have got them for Christmas but I'm hoping I've got them for Christmas anyway I think I have though I think Llewellyn got me in for Christmas but you know it's like you're sort of reading it even though you know what the film was like you're imagining it how you like you're reading it and your imagination just runs away with you and I think it's a very good written book if you can sit there and you can like imagine what it's actually like if you know what I mean that probably makes absolute no sense and I apologize but this is how words come out of my mouth sometimes they either come out wrong or they come out and they don't make any sense whatsoever no sense that's usually what it goes like it just makes no sense whatsoever it's great i love it but yeah i'm just gonna have some dinner i think i might watch some gossip girl while i have dinner actually and then i'm gonna continue to read because i really need to get them done <laughs> i really need to finish this book Excuse me. I need to decide what I want to have for tea. I don't know what to have, guys. Don't know what to have. There's like pies and stuff, so I think I might have a pie. Sorry if that's a bit low, I don't know. Let's see. What should we have for tea? See, because it's pies. Um, it's making a weird noise. I don't want to have two. It's making a weird noise. It's like it's hissing. It's weird. Seems like it's hissing. But anyway, I don't know what to have for tea. Now that I can actually see things that are in there, that would look so bloody empty. <laughs> it looks really empty because we just haven't got that much in there. Um, I think I might have a pie. I think that is what I'll have. I think I'll have some pie and mash. I haven't had pie and mash in a while. So we'll have food is doing well. My pie is done, potatoes are doing, spaghetti is doing, so I'm just waiting for these last little bits and then I can eat because I'm so hungry. Now that I can smell food, as I was saying, as soon as I smell food, I'm hungry. And whenever, because you know they're like the pot of all, I don't know whether you guys ever experience this, but you know when you cook a pie it comes in like the little white, uh, little, white little silver foil things? Can anybody ever get a pie out without the bottom breaking? Because the bottom always breaks when we do it. So I just wondered if anybody else had that problem. Or if you can get get it out perfectly. Cats are chilling though. Jacob's all nice and snug by there. In you. All nice and snug. All nice and snug in the corner of the sofa. A little madam has sat up here. Yeah, I know. I know. All snug as a bug you are. 
But yeah, I'm just going to eat food. I have seriously nearly finished this book now. Get in there. I'm getting there. Although it doesn't look like I'm getting there very quickly. But I am actually getting there. I've got about like four, three or four chapters left to go. But yeah. Man, I'm starving. So there we go. There's my tea. The amount of spaghetti is a bit daunting. But that's my tea. I'm starving today. But we'll do the cat's food now. And they're having chicken today. Yeah, we'll do a bit of food now. What's this? I like it all the time. What's this? They never come running when I want them to come running though. Although Poppy doesn't really like pouch meat. We have to normally do a separate meat. Because it's only certain ones she eats. She seems to be going through a phase at the moment. But Jacob loves his pouches of meat. But this is the only time they have a pouch of meat, as you've seen in videos before. They have a pouch of meat when we eat. Because that way then it distracts them from us eating. But I am now going to go and enjoy this with some Gossip Girl. Because I'm getting a bit obsessed with it now. So I'm going to go eat this and enjoy some of that. Hello. Well, food was a delish. I'm actually now really, really stuffed. Oh, just finished watching some Gossip Girl. And I'm gonna continue to read a little bit. It seems to all I've been done today is like eating, reading, and watching Gossip Girl. Seems to be all I've done. <laughs> but yeah. No, it's been a nice chill day today. I got a nice evening out tomorrow with Kelly. We are off out to our local town centre because there's a well, it's sort of a celebrity. He's on Tawi and he's in our local one of our local nightclubs. So we're going there tomorrow night to see him. And we're really, really excited because even though we don't personally know him, he seems a lovely guy on Tawi, so you know. But you get your picture with him and he's socialised then, so you never know. I have a little drink with him. That's probably asking way too much, but you know. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to having a night nice night out and a good blowout as well. But yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to just going out to be honest. I haven't been out in ages. So yes. But yeah, I'm just gonna uh, chill and read some more now. So I'm going to say good night. I hope you're all having you've all had a good week and you enjoy whatever plans you have for tomorrow and the weekend and just in life in general. I will see you guys tomorrow. So bye. Hi guys, if you really like the video please click subscribe and click on the link for yesterday's video on obviously the bit that says yesterday's video and then we will see what happens tomorrow and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow so bye